Hey everybody, this is Perch. If you, uh, you know, were older uh, in the 80s, uh, I wasn't, I was a kid uh, in the 80s, uh, there was a comic book called Cherry Pop-Tart that basically existed in, uh, well, hopefully, depending on where your comic shop was, uh, behind the shelves uh, or behind the counter or in a special area you're not supposed to go to, but most of the comic shop uh, owners didn't pay close attention to. And, and so there were a bunch of comics back there. And Cherry a Pop-Tart was a comic that always drew a lot of attention. So even, even later when I had a comic shop, because this, this comic ran kind of from 82 to God, late nineties. Uh, so in the nineties, this comic book would grab more attention than other, you know, adult comics. And the reason being is it had kind of an Archie type feel to it, uh, in terms of the style. It was very cartoonish. The characters were easy to, uh, to kind of look at. <laughs> that does, I don't mean that how it sounds, but it was just, they were very stylistic, uh, and, and solid and, and, but it really did have a kind of an archy quality to it. And it, um, it, until of course, manga came in and, and people discovered hentai and schoolgirls and octopuses and things. And then it, then it just, you know, tentacles, it, it just, it all, it all kind of came undone from there. Um, but at any rate, Cherry Pop-Tart, which very quickly became Cherry uh, because Kellogg sued them, um, was basically, it was a title and uh, there was a spinoff called, I believe, Cherry's Jubilee at some point. Um, but basically this comic had our kind of our hero, our star, uh, whose name was Cherry, and she was a high school student and she would basically have sex with everything. And so... She, uh, she was listed as she, she does not age. She's perpetually just turned 18. Eh, see what we did there, but she would get drunk, uh, and everything else and, and got some recognition. I mean, here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize is, uh, this comic was published by a little group called last gasp and they were doing underground comics and they had a bunch of, uh, books like, um, you know, uh, cocaine comics and, uh, dope and Dan and cherry pop tart and, horny biker slut. And, you know, I mean, it just, that was what they did. That was their, their claim to fame. And, uh, I, I remember one of them was called like women's comic, but smelled with like W I M M E N. Uh, anyway, they were very much underground comics. They, they weren't, uh, I would say the, the highest quality. Um, and they often focused on kind of various, uh, kind of anarchy type topics, uh, very, very left-wing in terms of politics uh, you know, anti-capitalism type books, um, not what you'd expect. So today you, you see a lot of video. This is, this is one of the reasons why I made this video is that last gasp and cherry, um, when they were coming out in the eighties and then the early nineties, one of the big criticisms that they had is that they were, they were too liberal. Uh, they were, they were communists. They were not like the Marvel and DC books that were, uh, you know, more conservative and, you know, featured true American values. <laughs> and, and I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just saying it's just, uh, the world is, the world has changed. So interesting how things move around. So, uh, last gasp, uh, base, I don't think they do comics anymore, but they still have a website and they still sell stuff. So, um, and then they had a lot of other comics in there that I didn't mention because I don't want uh, to be completely demonetized throughout this entire thing, but back to cherry, so uh, you had Cherry, you had a Cherry's mother, Pepper, and then you had Cinnamon, which was her little sister. And, um, and as I recall, so Cinnamon uh, really couldn't be, it couldn't, nothing could happen with, cin with cin 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 yeah, Cinnamon uh, because she was uh, underage. But the other two, in particular, Cherry and her mom, uh, had many, many adventures um, uh, all over the place. They would travel through time. Um, Pepper was shown to be very promiscuous, uh, <laughs> and, uh, she, she had had, uh, sex with, uh, George Washington and Davy Crockett and Jesse James and James Dean in a big orgy. And then, uh, one of those was Cherry's dad. Uh, so there, there you have it. But this, this title was uh, probably as mainstream as an underground book that featured lots of sex could get. Uh, Cherry was featured in the comics buyer's guide. Uh, she was, she showed up on uh, sexiest women in comics lists and, and it was, uh, there, there, it kind of wandered between being exploitive and then, uh, you know, kind of women's liberation, a feminist book. Um, although not, I, I don't, I have a hard time believing anyone took the feminist angle seriously because 
she would have sex with, you know, aliens and all kinds of things. So I, I don't know. Um, there were a handful of people who came in and out of the book. Uh, Steve Tyler, uh, was Cherry's favorite, uh, rock star that she slept with. Uh, Captain EO, uh, who was, who was a, basically a ripoff of Michael Jackson, uh, who she had sex with. Um, Mr. Feeney was a teacher that she had sex with. And then there was Johnny, Ronnie, Joey, and Steve and Ellie and Patty Milt, uh, and Lola Palooza, uh, all of which, uh, she had sex with. And that, that was basically a comic. The comic would have um, a few stories in it, like three or four stories. And the basic setup would be she would come in, something would be going on. There would be uh, a Renaissance fair or some kind of time portal or aliens or, uh, you know, a, a Sturgis uh, motorcycle rally. And then Cherry would show up and then she would uh, want beer or food or party or pot and then she would have sex and that was that was the that was the issue and then it would kind of come out not a lot of comics got produced um just over 20 and this was uh i don't know if these are really high collector value comics but it was one of those things that if you were if you if, first of all if you were in a comic shop for any length of time you came across this because it was uh it was probably one of the bigger selling adult comics at the time. And uh, as I mentioned, it drew a lot of attention because of its stylistic art and, and everything else. And then it, uh, it I, I don't know, it, it had the reputation of just keeping going. So even though it didn't have a lot of comics, there was an aspect where a lot of shops made sure they, you know, they had these things in stock and it, you know, there were collections that were made and, and everything else. And, and so it, it just, it just didn't end. Um, and it, it, it I, I don't know, it, it was, it was one of those, those weird kind of independent comics that just, just kept going and uh, they would do other little, like they, they would frequently parody, uh, regular comics. Like there was a, an issue where, um, Cherry showed up and they, they fought the X-Men, but they were the, you know, XXX men, uh, Wolverine's claws were not claws, but you, you get the idea. Um, but anyway, then, then, then she'd have sex with everybody. That was pretty much how that, I mean, that was kind of the punchline to every, everything is there, there would be just sex with everybody, but they did, they parodied the Titans. They parodied the, they, they, the silver surfer. Uh, I don't know how I, I just talking this over. I'm now trying to think about the art that I'm going to put in this video. And that's, that's not really going to, going to work. Um, <laughs> I should have thought this through before doing this video, but like I said, somebody had asked, um, Hey, what is this cherry thing? You I've used it a couple times in videos. I throw a cover up there you know, kind of in the background as a joke. And, and that's just, it's just one of those things. It, it was a comic that, uh, was very popular for a period of time. And, uh, you know, I mean, the, the art was very solid, um, uh, in, 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 uh, for being a very rough kind of indie type product, but, uh, uh, it, 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 anyway, so that's it. That's, that's what cherry is. It's an adult comic. There's been plenty of adult comics over the years uh, that have come and gone this one. Uh, and I think this was true with a lot of things that were, were going on back during this time period is you'd kind of have, you'd have some sex, you'd have a lot of nudity, you'd have some, uh, straight and bisexual, uh, sex being shown. You'd have lots of drug and alcohol, uh, things in the comic. And then Usually there'd be ads for, you know, getting the other comics, cigarette lighters. I always thought the, the letters page, like who's, who's writing into as a letters page of, uh, <laughs> of an adult comic called Cherry? I, I don't know. At any rate, at this point in this video, you're probably a little confused as to uh, that why, why in the world we decided to cover this, but it's just, it's just one of those things. Now you, now, you know, and knowing is half the battle. So let me know in the comments below. Do you remember this book? Do you, it, 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 is this a comic that you remember? Um, if it is, uh, did you I admit it? We're all, we're all faceless people on the internet. Did you read it? Is it disgusting? Is this a reason why the Comics Code Authority should come back and, and should never have left in the first place? Um, what do you what do you remember from Cherry or, or do you even want does it do you think that there's a place today for a comic like this? Uh, and of course there is. There's like roughly 50,000 uh, web comics out there today that does it. It's interesting. It was a this whole comic was probably a a you know precursor to uh, a lot of the <laughs> A lot of the stuff that goes on now. At any rate, um, I'm curious, and being an older shop owner, 
Uh, I probably remember this in a more fond way than than others. But Yule, if Yule's listening to this right now, he knows what I'm talking about. Um, no offense there, buddy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let me know your thoughts below. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. More importantly than that, thanks for listening and putting up with this.